What is going on YouTube? It is for this year. Okay, so today we're talking about the Mirror Mirror missions, which have just been re-released on Star Trek Fleet Command. Okay, so let's start off with this. What are the Mirror Mirror missions? Back in 2019, Panic basically told us that the community, that those top level commanders, level 36 plus, would be able to obtain the USS Jellyfish blueprints through the special time leaderboard events. However, you had to be a level 39 to fly one. Okay, so now, the Mirror Mirror quest chain originally was in the gift section, and this is where you could redeem uh, the, chest, uh, the chest for the chain. It was free, but it could not be completed without purchasing a Mirror Mirror mission pack. Uh, you know, it gave early access to the chain, and it even allowed four alternate endings with a whole bunch of rewards. Basically, people were able to get these ship blueprints, mats, and of course, officer shards. Now, a common misconception was the rumor that you could get the ISS jellyfish blueprints uh, when purchasing a mission pack. Let me tell you that this was not the case. Instead, you had to come first in the, in the event uh, for your chance to get the jellyfish. Uh, but people don't, don't fret people because the Mirror Mirror missions still give decent rewards but they were you know the question is are they good enough still um so apparently not uh this time around moving from 2019 to 2020 uh scopely offers the mirror mirror missions available through available through the borg arc uh, mission funds now this is great if you don't mind forking out wait for it sixteen thousand war funds this is a massive amount uh but if you are a free-to-play player, you might not be so inclined to do so. Uh, Story-wise, it's great, right? You get to experience a new Star Trek story with all of your favorite alternate universe characters. Other than that, what are you really getting with this? Well, Fartasia and Elkars have come up with a great little chart for you here to map out the rewards from the missions. Uh, Elkars is community-run Discord, um, if you don't know about it. And it's a great little resource if you love uh, the nitty gritty details of Star Trek Fleet Command. Okay, so here is the chart and take a look at this. Um, it's pretty good um, with a whole bunch of facts for you. Um, pretty good details there and it kind of explains, it goes through all the missions and it details all the rewards. Uh, okay, so some of the rewards could be great. For me personally, I really wouldn't invest in Borg Arc War Funds I wouldn't put the Borg uh, war funds into this, um, but the pro side of the missions is that you can do everything basically four times, so you can get a lot of shards for this. Um, there's been some bugs, I know bugs, right, which have been happening. Apparently, when you complete the reflections missions and you check the gift section, there's nothing there. Come on, developers, what are you doing? Um, okay, so here's my kind of two cents. There is no point uh, in really uh, investing your 16,000 Borg War Funds into this if you already have officers like Spark, Ahura, etc, etc. Um, you know, it would have been super nice if the developers offered some ISS jelly blueprints because I know people who are literally missing one, two, or even more of these blueprints and they're so close yet so far from getting the jellyfish. How tough is that? You know, if you're one of those players, like, man, it is crazy out there. So, yeah, I mean, unless you want the officers, uh, you know, mentioned in the chart, you don't, you probably shouldn't get the missions, right? So, again, great, big thanks to Fartasia and the rest of the LCAS team for, for providing this useful um, chart, because without it, you know, we'd all be stuck. All right, that is it for now, guys. Stay safe, everyone.